Thank you. Dear guests and Toastmasters, it happened six months ago. I was at this kind of meeting, and we were just taking, drinking a tea with my friends, and someone came to me. He was tall, big guy. He was from Nigeria, and he can speak in Russian. So that was a topic. So normally, when you are in a foreign country, and I feel a little bit foreign in here because my almost first language is English. So, and he started speaking English and it was interesting. I said, oh, come on. We can talk like different topics about Russia, about other things. And he was, by the way, in Russia for a long time. And he speaks English uh, and Russian very well. So, and after this meeting, we meet again. And he come to me and this time he suggests one business. And he said, listen, man, do you want serious business? I said, like, okay. I'm now working, but what is that? It's like interesting. So he said, this is a business because I work as a guy before in my country. He is from the Nigeria. So he worked as a guy. And I was in the middle as a broker, as a translator between the sellers and buyers for antics, like antique sculpture, antique vases, and other stuff. And all the time, I couldn't earn any money from that. Commission was so little. But this time, I have seller and customer which don't know each other. If we can bring this stuff to Istanbul, and we can resell that, we can be broker, broker, and we can resell for highly priced that. But only thing that you have to do is just you have to invest $2,000. And I'm here new, and I start to work. It was my second month, actually. I just start to work and I'm earning $400 and it's like after two days I had to earn that one it's like my salary day and I'm just excited because I can go to course I can join to Toastmasters and other things you know because if that it was just you know blocking me and I said but when he showed this business plan and then he said like after one week we can earn $200,000 so oh my god I said is it true he said, listen, I'm really God and I'm, I'm not lying to you. Like he's just swearing in a God, so that's why I believe to him. $2,000 is a problem, but I have 400 Then I start to search, I start to ask from my friends, like, listen, I want to really, I have a business and I want, after one week, my life will change completely because I have really chance now. I said, like, you are saying bullshit, it's not possible. What are you talking about? So I said, no, no, you don't believe me, but I will show you after one week. So I couldn't find $2,000, that was a problem. But um, I find 800. Second problem was, okay, he said, oh, we can deal with that, but we have to find a place here in Istanbul, because you are not also the local. And this, the buyer will not believe to you. And I have really, I don't have any even credit card. So he is a rich guy, so we have to do transaction. We have to find some another middleman here. So I said, okay, let me search then. No problem. I already lost eight hundred dollars. I mean, I had to do like I had to complete that. So I start to search. I went to Sultan Ahmed. Everybody knows Sultan Ahmed, right? So okay. like it's foreigners, others. So I went to Sultan Ahmed. I went to one shop and I'm showing. Listen, if you put here for what, like one week, and this buyer will come and buy from us. So we can give a commission to you, and it will be big commission. He said, no, I don't believe to you. Like, listen, go. Second one, he was a carpet seller, but he has some antique things also. We went to him. I showed the picture, and I said, listen, this is an antique thing. He said, um, are you serious? I said, really serious. It's like really expensive stuff, so you will get like great commission, and this work will be nothing for you. He said, okay. I can believe to you, but I have someone. He's a smuggler. So if you want to, then I can talk with him. And I know I will call to him. I feel confident. Like, you know, but inside it starts to, you know, shake me. Like, oh my God, it's a smuggler. What am I doing here? Mm -hmm. So um, I said, like, no, call to him. No problem. You can call it so we can make a deal. 
said, okay, he can bring this one easily from this country, from Nigeria even to Belgium, because buyer was in Belgium, okay? He can bring that easily. But if it's not original, authentic, he will kill you immediately. Mm. <laughs> oh my God, I said, where am I? Oh my God. So like, I really start to say it was really worth saying, which, is, which can happen. So, and before I didn't know that this antique selling, antique selling is, can be also smuggling in this country. They can just punish you or you can go to, to a prison. And at that moment, I said, okay, call to him, no problem, but I'm pretending. And he take my number. He said, we will call you later today, because he, he has to arrange his time and everything, because he's a really busy guy. So, okay, I said, no problem. Thank God he didn't call me. And that moment, I called this African guy and I said, listen, this is 800 is yours, no problem. It's maybe my double salary, but I learned great lesson from that. Because um, so there is no shortcuts when we want something. Because what I want and what I can get from them is like really totally different things. I can make a risk in my life. But it, if it's worse, it's okay. But in that case, I can go to the jail. I can, police can take me. Someone can kill me. So I understand there is this kind of ways. But it will not work for me. Because normally, 99% of the people they want to grow, they want to be successful, they want to change their life, but in not in a short way, which can risk your life, which can be dangerous for your life. And today was an uh, amazing video also. I just, Eric Thomas, maybe you know Eric Thomas, motivational guy, so. so he said amazing example, it's really asking about me also. He said, I finished university in 12 years. <laughs> yeah, 12 years, yeah, I mean. So, I understand there is no easy way, there is no shortcuts if you want to really get something in your life. Thank you.